Make sure there's nothing behind him when we do this. Okay, you see him? Yeah. He's got something in front of the shoulder right now. I don't know. If he takes another step, you can let him have it. Make sure you squeeze that trigger very slowly. Don't jerk it. No, wait till he's broadside. That's not good. If he's broadside right there, you can do it. If he takes a step broadside. I got a shot. Okay, take him. Hit him. Today I'm with Garrett from California. Garrett's uh, been trying to chase coos deer for several years now with a bow and hasn't succeeded, so we decided to come on a rifle hunt. Yep. And uh, today we glassed up this really big old buck. Um, this buck's got a lot of character. I saw this buck uh, for two days now, actually, three days. This is the third day I've seen this buck stayed on the same hill and we're fortunate enough to get a shot on him today. Um, the shot was 505 yards and he was ready to go over a saddle so we said we better take the shot yep. um, and uh, had to make a couple follow-up shots but we had a lot of wind on top of this hill and that's why we had to take the follow-up shots but this buck's pretty, pretty neat he's got a second beam right here um, it comes off underneath this other beam with a little eye guard on it and everything. It's a really cool buck. Um, a lot of character. Just a great buck. I don't know. He's probably in that oh, 100 inch mark somewhere in there. He's just a really cool buck. All kinds of character on him. But congratulations, Garrett. I'm glad you finally got your coos deer. <laughs> Thank you. What do you think of the hunt? Well, great trip. Well worth the drive down here. Um, great country, beautiful country. Just couldn't ask for a better, couldn't ask for a better hunt. Great shot and great animals down here. Saw a bunch of javelina that actually got them up. Yeah, that and was pretty neat. That just icing on top of the icing on top of the cake. All right. Well, congratulations again. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.